Hello my YouTube friends. I hope you guys are staying warm. Welcome to Flamingos in Love. This cookie is inspired by a photo that I took at the Lincoln Park Zoo in Chicago last summer. The first thing you're going to need to do is paint on the crack glaze mixture using a flat brush. The link for the crack glaze recipe is in the description box below. Depending on the humidity of the climate you're in, it can take anywhere from 20 minutes to 40 minutes for the crack glaze to crack and dry. Using black soft consistency icing and a nozzle number two. Pipe an outline of the crack glaze. Then pipe another outline on the outside of the cookie. Begin icing in the center of the two pipe lines using black flood consistency icing and a tipless bag. Use the scribe tool to coax any of the icing into the small little crevices of the cookie. Now gently tap your cookie against your work surface to bring any air bubbles up to the top. Transfer the design to the crack glaze. Then using stiff consistency icing, pipe one eye for each flamingo. Now pipe a pair of legs for each flamingo. Switch your icing to medium consistency icing and pipe the underbelly for each of the flamingos. We'll be using the medium consistency icing from now on. Pipe the head of the right flamingo and the very long S-shaped neck. Continue piping into the body of the flamingo. Pull out a few wings of the right flamingo. Move over to the left flamingo and follow the exact same steps, except pull out a few more wings than you did for the right flamingo. Use the scribe tool to help you shape the wings. I almost forgot, let's pipe the beaks for each of the flamingos. Now pipe a heart just above both flamingos in the center of their heads. Using a very bright yellow, paint the eyes of each of the flamingos. Full disclosure, I find the eyes on the flamingos extremely creepy. Using a pale pink, paint the flamingo. With the darker pink having the same hue, begin painting the feathers of the underbelly of the flamingo. Carry the feathers up through the main portion of the flamingo. Repeat the same steps on the left flamingo.
Switching to more of a rose pink, continue painting the intricate feathers inside both flamingos. In order to achieve the color that I wanted for the legs, I needed to create it mixing a few colors together. The colors will be listed in the description box below. And there's a short little video on my Instagram showing how I mixed the colors together. Paint the flamingo's legs using this color mixture. With a light gray, paint the beak. Using a black that you're comfortable with, a black food paste gel, paint the lower one-fourth of each beak of each of the flamingos. With the toe of your brush, paint a little pupil in each eye for each flamingo. Look over your flamingos. Make sure they're both in tonal balance. If they're not, go ahead and paint in the corrections that you need to totally balance the flamingos. Using the medium pink, paint the heart. Using a number two nozzle and black soft consistency icing, pipe a bead border along the outer edge of the cookie. Switch your nozzle to a 1.5 or a one and pipe the details with the black soft consistency royal icing.
Now pipe tiny beads all around the inner border of the cookie frame. I hope you enjoyed this preview. It's the latest addition to my online cookie decorating school. To take your cookies to unbelievable heights, become a member at shopfifthavenuecakes.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.